Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Schreiber. Hope you, all you Huskies are doing great. I've been seeing on Facebook that the Tingleys and the Adamskis have been um, painting rocks and setting them around in Olean. And I know we're gonna have some nice weather in the next few days. So I had this book laying around and I decided to make it today's read aloud. It's called Scribble Stones. This is written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This book is also published by Diane Alber, and it's to my children, Ryan and Anna, who love to play with a giant stone pile in the backyard, which inevitably inspired this story. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be. The hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall piles start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great. But he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not whole paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then, all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wriggling by. They were headed right toward the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We knew that this pile was getting too tall. There's no more paper. We've used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. He slowly rolled down to the very large, down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another Scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup.
To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part. Sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet, it was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will and a way. Scribble Stone Art Project. Scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative art. How it works. Find a stone and add some art, a scribble, a splatter, or a happiness heart. Then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow. It's so very simple and easy to do. Just add some more art and give it away too. So boys and girls, if you don't know this, um, Mrs. Tingley started a Facebook group called Olean Rocks. And she and some other people have been inspired to do a variation of the scribble stone where they paint on the scribble stones. You can use nail polish, you can use acrylic paint, um, any kind of paint that will last. And I know that she and the Adamskis and some other families have gone around Olean and um, just placed those rocks randomly. So if you're getting bored in the next couple of days and you wanna go for a walk, maybe you could keep your eyes open and see if you find one of their scribble stones, one of their painted stones. They're pretty cute. I've seen them. And if you're interested in joining the group, you could always try to join. It's, um, it's called Olean Rocks and it's on Facebook. All right, see you later Eastview.